Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I wanted to do just a very simple get ready with me. I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the different green beauty products that I've been using this summer and what I've been loving. And um, just do a very simple, basic makeup routine for you. First, I'm gonna go in with my Devita Mineral Sunscreen. This stuff is awesome. It is um, so moisturizing to my dry skin and really soothing. I really, really like this stuff. I'm going in with my 100% um, pure tinted moisturizer. This is in the color White Peach. I really tried to pick out a color that matched me well because um, they don't really send you samples or anything. And I will say that this is a tad orange, so it might show up pretty orange on camera. Um, but I feel like once I add a little bit of my powder on top of this, it kind of just blends really nicely. I think I have banana in my hair because I was feeding my daughter banana this morning. <laughs> Now 100% pure, a lot of their product line, this is the Fruit Pigmented Tinted Moisturizer. They um, basically tint their makeup using like food, like fruit. Obviously I'm not suggesting you eat your tinted moisturizer, but yeah, I just think it's really cool and I really like how clean the ingredients are. Next I'm going in with my Honey Bee Gardens, Looks so dirty. Honey Bee Gardens, um, this is in the color Rendezvous. So I just kind of lightly dust that on. Honey Bee Gardens is actually a really great green beauty makeup brand. I feel like their prices are very reasonable and uh, their products are really good. Now I'm using Deep Brown by Silk Naturals. Silk Naturals is a really great green beauty brand if you want to start our, start off with green beauty but you're not entirely sure how to transition and you maybe don't have the money for um, like a lot of high-end green beauty products because they can get super pricey and even I was like, whoa, I don't have that type of money. So Silk Naturals, I like to think of as the elf of green beauty. It's incredibly reasonably priced. Their packaging isn't like the most stunning but the products are really great and they actually do a lot of dupes for of like um, regular brands. Silk Naturals they do a dupe for um, even the Naked palettes by Urban Decay so I'm going to be showing you guys that right now. I don't know if you guys can tell but on this eyebrow I have a scar and that's actually from when I was like a kid. I fell and split this like part of open right here and my mom said after that point my hair never grew back. Some of you who watch my channel and are familiar with me being um, like zero waste you're thinking like how in the world is any of this zero waste and the truth is it is not. I purchased a lot of these products, most of these products before I went zero waste um, and I was actually kind of like frantic after I decided to start going moving towards a zero waste lifestyle like what am I supposed to do with all these this makeup I found a company called origins they take any um, containers from makeup any makeup brand any makeup company and they recycle it this is um, by a company called keeping it natural they are she's based on Etsy the woman's name is Linda she was so helpful with my order and she packages everything in these recyclable metal containers. So she is like on the zero waste movement. So if you are trying to transition to zero waste and you want to buy makeup, go to her Keeping It Natural Etsy shop and you will not be disappointed. A bronzer by um, Silk Naturals, it's called Hula Honey and it's, it has a slight shimmer to it. I'm actually a big fan of shimmery stuff. Next, I am going in with a little bit of blush. This is by Honey Bee Gardens, and it's in the color Rendezvous. It's like a pretty, I would say more of a rose color. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's, I tend to gravitate toward berries and coral type blushes, but this I really like. You guys tell that I need to paint my nails again. It's pretty bad. 
So I'm gonna actually go in with a really, really pretty highlighter called Sweetie by Silk Natural. What I do is I put a little bit of um, the highlighter on my wrist and then I actually am gonna take some argan oil. This is organic argan oil and um, I want to have like a dewy look on my cheeks, so I just do like a drop of oil in my high my powder highlight so It's now this kind of like dewy look and so I just go in with my ring finger and I just put it On the tops of my cheekbone Kind of just gives it that Glow that pretty glow I do not accentuate my nose whatsoever, so I never put highlighter on my nose. And the reason being, and you guys are probably gonna be like super aware of this now that I'm telling you, but my nose is actually a little crooked. Um, it's been like this my whole life. There was a time where I was like, I'm gonna get plastic surgery, and then I kind of grew out of that, so. Um, I've just learned to embrace all my flaws, and that includes my crooked nose. This is a dupe palette for um, Urban Decay's Naked 2. This is called Bare Essentials Number 2 by Silk Naturals. I actually had to press all of these myself and it was very time consuming and when I traveled with this to Texas this summer, all, a lot of my shadows broke so I was pretty sad about that and I don't think I'll be repurchasing any of them. So. Kind of a bummer. So all I'm gonna go in today with is a little bit of that gold shimmery color and then a little of this pink shimmery color. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with that like pinky shimmery color. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it right now. Okay, great. So it's just a very light gold color. Now, my eyes look super oily because the um, light concealer that I use, it's a very oily based uh, product. So I will need to set my under eye concealer. This is Organic Cream Eyeliner in Brown. It is a sample that I was sent by a company called Dab Herb Makeup. They are based in California and actually like a city over from where I live. I do like this eyeliner. I feel like it has really great pigment. I like the packaging of this eyeliner. I believe it comes in a glass or metal container, so it's very eco-friendly. However, I have very oily eyelids, um, which is funny because the rest of my face is super dry. And so, and this is a very oily base. I think it's coconut oil based eyeliner. And um, I find it smudges quite a bit. I'm gonna go in with my 100% pure um, fruit pigmented mascara. This stuff is amazing. It's the nicest mascara I've ever owned. And you guys, it smells so good. Most mascaras smell like chemicals and yeah, it's pretty gross. But this mascara smells like blueberries and strawberries. I do like that it comes in a recyclable metal container instead of your conventional plastic. Yeah, this is a great mascara. I feel like there's no, there's hardly any fallout throughout the day. I'd say there's just very, very minimal. Um, it coats really nicely. I feel like it's both very volumizing and lengthening, which I like. So you can see. Mascara. Mm. This is actually a setting powder by Silk Naturals and I it came in a plastic bag which I was not a fan of and I wanted to put it in a container so this is actually a soap container from Spain that I've upcycled. A lip color by Keeping It Natural it's in that little tin and um, it's called Ruby so it's this really pretty kind of red color I'm a sucker for reds I love red anything just put this guy on it's also really hydrating so if you guys are looking for like a lip stain 
I would say this is not the product for you because I feel like it comes off fairly easily, but it's just a pretty color. Okay guys, this is the final look. Let's just, let me show you how it all looks together. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. If you guys think I'm doing something incorrectly, like give me suggestions and but like be nice about it. Just let me know in the comments. The other thing I want to share with you guys are these two apps. So this is the Think Dirty app. And this actually, you can tell that I looked in Physicians Formula Organic Wear Jumbo Mascara, it's what I was just looking at. So rated three, but it also is very similar to the EWG website where it lists the ingredients and what is bad for you, what is good. EWG Healthy Living app and the Think Dirty app are great apps that you guys should definitely check out if you want to start going through your makeup and cleaning them out. So anyways, I hope that's helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I drop a new video every Sunday, so I will catch you then.